Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the problem from Digital Design Textbook by M. Morris Mano. The question number is 2.17 from exercise. Obtain truth table of the following functions and express each function in sum of min terms and product of max terms form. Here four Boolean functions they have given. For each and every Boolean function, first we should develop the truth table, then we should write sum of min terms and product of max terms from the truth table. Now let us start with a bit. Here this is the given Boolean function. In this given Boolean function, we have three input variables B, C, D. Okay, based on these three input variables, we should prepare a truth table to find the output. This is the truth table. The first column specifies the decimal value. The decimal values from 0 to 7 based on the number of input variables. Here the number of inputs should be 3, B, C, D. The next column which provides the calculations to find product terms and sum terms. Then the last column which indicates the output value for the given Boolean function. Now let us write the binary combinations for input variables. Here three input variables we have. With these three input variables, two power three combinations of binary we can write. Two power three means eight. Eight means zero to seven. I, that's why I have written the decimal values from zero to seven. Okay. Now write the binary combinations for these three input variables. We should take the binary weights 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2. Based on these binary weights, we should fill the binary values. For the first value 0, the binary combination is 0, 0, 0. Because in these three binary weights, we should put 0 value only. Now to get the value of 1, we should place 1 in the place of 2 power 0 position. In the remaining positions filled with zeros. In this way, we should write all the combinations of binary up to 1, 1, 1. Next, we should find the calculations because in the given Boolean function, we have B plus CD in the first bracket. That means CD is the ending of C and D variables. First, we should find the CD. Then we should find the BD and then we should find the sum terms. The first sum term is B plus CD. Then the second sum term is C plus BD. After that, these two sum terms should be ended. Okay. So for that, first we should start our calculations with the CD. Here CD means ending operation. Ending means when both inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1. Otherwise, the output is 0. Based on that, we should fill the values for CD. Here, in these two cases only, we have both ones. So that the output is 1. For the remaining all combinations, at least one input is 0. So that the output is 0 for CD. In the same way, we should find the value for BD. So here also, BD means ending of B and D variables. So when B and D both are having ones, then only the output should be 1. Otherwise, the output is 0. So in these two cases only we have both ones. The remaining all combinations should be zero. Next, we should find B plus CD. That is B is R with CD. Okay. So B is the first column. CD is this column. Now we should R these two values. If one of the input is one, then the output should be one. When both inputs are zeros, then only the output is zero. So, the first three combinations we have output is 0. For the remaining all combinations, at least one single one is available so that the output is 1. Okay. In this way, we should find the C plus BD. Here you can see C plus BD means C is R with BD. Okay. So, we should concentrate only C column and BD column. When both inputs are 0, then the output will be 0. Otherwise, the output is 1. Okay. So, in these cases only we have both zeros. In the remaining cases, at least one single one is there so that the output is 1. Okay. After that, we should adding these two sum terms. We should concentrate only on these two sum terms. Adding means when both inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1. So, in these cases only we have both inputs are 1s. Okay. Then the output will be 1. In the remaining all cases, the output is 0. In this way, we should find the output value. Okay. Now, we should write the sum of min terms and product of max terms. We should write the sum of min terms with 
equivalent minterm numbers for binary one output value. The sum of minterms should be specified with the operator sigma. Minterms should be specified with the small m letter and the minterm numbers represent with the equivalent decimal value. Okay, for these four values, we should write the equivalent minterm number 3, 5, 6, 7. Okay, next product of max terms. Product of max terms should be represented with the pi operator. Capital M is the max term number and the numbers inside the bracket which represents the max term number. Nothing but the numbers missed in sum of min terms are the max term numbers. So here out of all these 0 to 7 numbers, 3, 5, 6, 7 are min term numbers. The remaining numbers 0, 1, 2, 4, these are max term values. Okay. In this way, we should solve the next Boolean functions. Okay. This is the second Boolean function. For this Boolean function also, we have only three input variables B, C, D. With these three input variables, we should develop the truth table to find the output value. Here also, we have three input variables B, C, D. With these three input variables, we should develop the truth table to find the output value. Here again in the first column decimal values from 0 to 7 because here we are using three input variables for all these binary combinations the equivalent decimal values should be from 0 to 7. Now we should find the product terms and sum terms. Okay, before finding these product terms, we should write the B dash D dash values. Okay, B dash means complement of the B. Okay, similarly D dash means complement of D variable values. Then find the C D ending of C and D. Next B dash C ending of B dash with C. B D dash. Now we should write the B dash value the complement of B. Here four zeros. Four zeros should be converted as four ones to get the B dash. For four ones four zeros. In this way for D dash also we should write. Similarly we should write one zero one zero one zero one zero. Okay. Next we should find the C and D. That means handing of C and D. When both inputs are 1, then only the output should be 1. Otherwise, output is 0. Here, this is for CD. In these two cases only, we have both 1s. Okay. Otherwise, output is 0. Similarly, we should find the B dash C. That is B dash and C, handing operation. In these two combinations only, we have both 1s. So that the output is 1. Otherwise, 0. Okay. Similarly, we should find the B D dash. Here you can see B D dash means this is B, this is D dash. Okay. Again, handing operation. In these two cases only we have both one. So the output will be one. Otherwise, output is zero. Next, we should find the sum of all these product terms. That is Ring operation. Ring means at least one single input is one. Then the output is one. Or if all the inputs are zero, then the output will be zero. Otherwise, output is one. Okay. So, for the first two cases, all the input values are 0 so that the output is 0. Similarly, in this case also, we have three input values are 0, the output will be 0. For the remaining cases, at least one single input value is 1, so the output is 1. But next, we should find the B plus D value. Okay, B plus D means ring of B and D. Okay, so we should concentrate only on B and D. Again, both inputs are 0, then the output will be 0. Now, we should find the ending between these two sum terms. Okay, that means only we should focus on these two columns. Okay, ending means when both inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1. Okay, in these four cases only we have outputs 1. The remaining cases is having output is 0. Next, we should write this sum of min term numbers. Okay. So, here at these four places only we have 1s. So, that the corresponding decimal equivalents are 3, 4, 6, 7. These are sum of min term numbers. Okay. Similarly, remaining decimal equivalents are max term numbers. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 5. Okay. This is for second Boolean function. Next one, this is the third Boolean function. B, C, D are three input variables. Again, we should develop the truth table based on the input variables. Again, with these three input variables, we have 0 to 7 decimal equivalent values. Next, we should do calculations based on the given Boolean function variables. Here, first we should find the C dash, then find the C dash plus D 
and B plus C dash. Then we should find the output value. Now we should write the all binary combinations for input variables and then write the equivalent decimal value C dash. C dash means complement of C. Okay. So for the first two combinations, zeros. So the C dash value should be ones. Ones means zeros. Just opposite value, zeros, ones, ones, zeros. Okay. Now we should write the C dash plus D. That is, we should concentrate on C dash and D are in between these two. Okay. When both inputs are zero, the output will be zero. Otherwise, the output is one. Okay. Here you can see C dash plus D. Okay, so this is C dash, this is D. So in these two combinations, we have both zeros and both zeros. So here and in this position, we have zeros. In the remaining all combinations, we have output is 1. Similarly, we should find the B plus C dash. We should concentrate B and C dash only. Okay, now in these two cases, we have both zeros. In the remaining all cases, at least one single one is available and the remaining output should be 1. Now, the ending between these two sum terms. In these five combinations, we have both ones so that the output should be one in these five cases. The remaining output should be zero. Okay. Now we should write the sum of min terms. Here we have totally five ones. So the equivalent decimal value should be zero, one, four, five, and seven. Okay. Similarly, we should write the max term value. Max term means the remaining decimal values. Okay. For these zeros values, we have to write the equivalent decimal. These are max term numbers 2, 3, and 6. This is for third Boolean function. Now, this is fourth Boolean function. Here we have four input variables A, B, C, D. Okay. Based on these four input variables, we should develop the truth table. This is the truth table. Here we have the decimal equivalent values are 0 to 15 because here the number of input variables should be 4. So with 4 input variables, totally 16 combinations of binary we can write. So for each and every combination of binary, we should write the equivalent decimal value. Okay, 16 means including 0 up to 15 we have to consider. Okay. And the binary weights should be 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, and 2 power 3. The equivalent values are 1, 2, 4, 8. Based on these binary weights, we should fill all these binary combinations. Okay. Here we can see totally 0 to 15 combinations of binary from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. Now we should calculate a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash. After that, we should find the product values and then find the output value. Okay. Here you can see a dash means complement of a values. Okay. Here eight zeros we have so that eight ones we should write. Eight ones instead of eight, these eight ones we should write eight zeros. Okay. Just opposite binary. Okay. In this way, we should fill all these columns. Okay. Next one, we should find b d dash. So we should focus only on B and D dash. When both inputs are one, then only the output will be one. Otherwise, output is zero. Okay. So you can see here, this is one and this is one. So the output will be one. Similarly, similarly here, this is one. This is also one. So here also output is one. Okay. Next, this is one. This is one the output will be 1. Remaining cases, the output should be 0. Okay. Next, we should find the A, C, D dash. Product of A, C, D dash. And that means adding operation between these three variables. A, C, D dash. Okay. When all the inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1. Okay. Here, you can see in these two cases only, we have all 1s. Okay. 1, 1, 1. Similarly, this is 1, 1, this is 1. Okay. In the remaining all cases, at least a single 0 is there. So that the output is 0. Next one is A, B dash, C. A, B dash and C. So based on these three values, when these three inputs are ones, then only the output will be one. So in these two cases only, we have output one. In the remaining all cases, output is zero. Okay. You can see here, this is one, this is one and this is one. Similarly, here one, one, one. Okay. In the remaining all cases, at least one single zero is there so that the output is zero. Okay. Next one, A dash, C dash. Only you should concentrate on A dash and C dash. So when both inputs are one, then the output will be one. Okay. Here these two are zero so that zeros. 
again you can see here these two combinations are zeros okay these two combinations are outputs as ones the remaining all cases at least one single zero is there so that the output is zero okay next now we should find the output value nothing but r ring of all these product terms okay so the r ring of all these product terms means when all these product values are zeros then the output will be zero otherwise one okay so in these cases we have all the values are zeros okay? in the remaining cases we have at least one single one for these products so that it will be one okay now we should write the sum of min terms and the product of max terms here you can see sum of min terms values for binary value one in the output okay for all these ones we should write the equivalent decimal value 0 1 4 5 6 10 11 12 14 you can see left side okay 0 1 next 4 5 6 here you can see 10 11 12 14 okay next the remaining decimal values are max terms you can see the max term numbers are the missing numbers in these combinations from 0 to 15 are max term numbers 2 3 7 8 9 13 and 15 so this is for fourth boolean function okay i hope you understand this solution for the given problem if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt please comment in comment box definitely i will help you thank you